looks like we're going to need to fix this dryer. So I've moved the dryer about a foot away from the wall. So now I have access to a couple nuts that hold this top panel on. There's one here and there's one on the other end. We're just going to remove those and then we should be able to remove this top panel. So with those nuts off, we can slide this back. You can see with the top panel off, we've got our control panel here on the left hand side of the dryer. We're going to remove a couple more nuts and we should be able to remove this whole piece. So once both of those nuts are removed, you can slide this end and this whole thing comes loose. Now we'll just have to unplug all of the connectors and keep track of where they go. At this point, it's a good idea to take some pictures of how this wiring is set up so that we'll have reference when we go to put it back together. On most of these connectors, to remove them from the board, you're going to want to pinch with your thumb to release and then tug. Same thing on this one, same type of connector. It's just a little rocker action. Pinch and pull it out. Got almost all the wires disconnected. There's a, another nut here. Loosen this, remove it, and it should allow me to slide the whole assembly and remove it from this piece of metal. Just take your time doing this because you don't want to break anything. So we've got the part out completely. We've got a part number on top here on this little cover plate. I think we can order this part if we need it. I'm going to just check that on Amazon.com and I'll leave a link in the video description. If we can find a match, we're also going to inspect and just see if we can repair it with some solder. Now to remove this from its plastic carrier, we've got six tabs kind of on all sides that we're going to have to kind of press in on these guys. Kind of as many as we can at a time and uh, see if we can release this thing. So we've got the control board free from this uh, little plastic carrier and as expected we're seeing that uh, something blue in here uh, and you can see on the bottom of the control panel control board whatever you want to call this that uh, there's a pretty significant solder joint that is no longer connected. So we're gonna try and resolder that and see what what happens um, but as our fallback, we'll just order another board if that doesn't work. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to go heat up the soldering iron and see if we can make this simple fix. We tried to solder the old control board and didn't have any luck. It seemed to be fried even after re-soldering the, the blown connection. So we ordered a new part. Uh, we're going to install it right now and see if we have some better luck. So this is our old control board. This is the new one. Uh, it's a slightly different part number, but is supposed to be fully compatible. One difference is in this end where the original one, you had two things that plugged in on this end. On the new board, they plug in on the top. Other than that, it should be the same. So we're going to hook it up and see how it goes. So far, so good. The new panel attaches to this uh, metal piece, just like the original one. I'm going to slide this guy in. Good time to double check that you're unplugged from power before you reconnect any of these connectors. 
All right, let's get this harness reconnected. reference you can go back to the photo you took before you took this apart hopefully okay. this one can only go one way that helps. Okay. Okay, it goes in there. Seems to be all the way in. Let's just tighten this up. So the new control board is in. All the connectors are in place and snugged up. So we're all plugged back in. Before I put the lid back on it, I want to just test it out. It's the moment of truth. We're going to hit power. We've got power, which is good. And then let's see if it starts. Awesome. All right, guys. Again, I'm going to leave the part number I used in the description and a link to where I purchased it on Amazon. I hope this helps you get a little confidence to tackle something like this on your own. Please like and subscribe. Leave any comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.